Hi, it's Guy Arnold, author of Great or Poor and Sales Through Service and Go the Extra Inch. Um, here's a little experience I had today in a, a high street bank, uh, in NatWest in fact. Now NatWest uh, advertised themselves as helpful banking, which to me uh, is definitely a triumph over marketing over experience. Uh, I've been with NatWest for a very long time and some of the things they do are very good, but this was definitely a good example of NatWest making it a spectacular cock up and getting it hideously wrong because anyone can write a marketing slogan to say helpful banking or the customer is our greatest asset or we value your customer or that old, all, all the old marketing bollocks that we're all, all you know totally familiar with uh, and here's a here, here's, here's NatWest totally messing it up on helpful banking so I went into NatWest in Exeter today and there was a big queue of people about eight people there waiting now now, that's not unusual. I mean, it was lunchtime and uh, you know, they were probably uh, short staffed because people were having their lunch and all that sort of stuff. Uh, which, by the way, you know, why do banks and retail outlets let their staff go for lunch at lunchtime? You know, don't they want the custom? I mean, it's like a pub saying, well, I'm sorry, we can't serve you any lunch today because all our staff are at lunch. You know, so, you know, come on, retail outlets, get it right. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, went to the big queue, eight people, and uh, was one window open, unbelievably. Uh, and their automatic machine was broken. Now, it's not their fault that the machine was broken. It's not their fault that um, there was a big queue of people. You know, it's just one of those things. It's like buses, they all come at once. But it was their fault about the way they dealt with it. Now, their slogan, as I said, is helpful banking. Now, what would a helpful thing be to do? What are the customer's real needs? Now, the customer's real needs are threefold. Customer needs some attention customer needs to have their life made easier or better and customer needs to have trust in you. So here we were, eight people, one teller open and two or three people milling around behind the scenes. You know the way they do, they mill around behind the scenes and try and avoid eye contact because eye contact means I actually have to do something rather than shuffle paper around. So it's two, two or three people milling around behind the scenes shuffling paper. And um, anyway, so eventually, after a lot of milling going on, and one, one lady at the teller obviously was taking a long time with her transaction, eventually uh, another teller opens. And they don't sort of go to the, the, to the to the queue and say, you know, we're opening up, you know, we'll be there in a second. No one comes around from the back to say, you know, terribly sorry to keep you waiting. Is there anything I can do to help you? And in fact, everyone is incredibly unhelpful at the helpful bank. It's definitely not helpful banking. Now, what do they need to do? The customer's real needs threefold. They say attention, easier life and trust. Attention. You know, we're standing in a queue like lemons. No one's taking any notice of us. People are milling around. How much attention are we getting? The answer is none. Uh, easier or better life. Do we find it's making our, our life easier or better by standing in a queue in a boring old bank with no one talking to us? No one saying, I'm sorry for keep you waiting. No one proactively coming around and talking to the queue and seeing something they can do. Of course not. Our life's getting much worse. So a big fat zero on that one, that West as well. And trust. Can you really trust a bank that spends thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of pounds advertising how helpful they are, yet fail to sort out a queue at lunchtime? I don't think so. Come on, that West. And other businesses learn from this. Bugger the marketing. Stop all these stupid slogans and just focus on getting it right for the customer every time. Because remember, your chain is only as good as its weakest link and it was damn weak this time. So there you are, customer's real needs, a classic example of a major brand cocking it up big style. Cheerio.